Again, this is John Muller from the JP Muller Group, and in this video we're going to talk about some of the advanced task manipulations that you could do. Um, first, we're going to start with indenting and outdenting. A lot of times when we're entering a bunch of tasks, we just kind of very quickly go down the list and we enter a bunch of tasks, and then we decide we want a certain hierarchy to show. So let's say these two items, we want it to actually be subtasks of this item. Okay, what I could do is go up here into the project plan menu that I exposed to you. After highlighting anywhere in these columns, you know, I could, wherever I want, I can highlight. Okay, highlight here, it doesn't matter where, as long as I highlight those two. And I'm going to do project plan, and I'm going to do indent the selection. And what that's going to do is going to increase the level by one, which essentially makes it a ch them children of this task. And notice it bolds this one. Okay? And that simply is how you indent. Notice also that it makes the work breakdown structure uh, indented as well, or adds you know a dot to it. So this went from 1.5.4 to 1.5.3.1. And this went from 1.5.5 to 1.5.3.2. So let's say I want to outdent it. We could highlight them. And we go back to project plan, indentation. And now we can move it out, which will decrement this by one. Notice it's three now. Notice the hierarchy of the indentation went to the left. And notice we're back to 154 and 155. So that's how we indent, and that's how we outdent. There's also some functionality I want to show you in terms of rolling up tasks. A lot of times we want to see tasks rolled up. So I don't want to see all these details. I just want to see a roll up of them. So I'll highlight the parent task and I'm going to collapse it. Now when I collapse I want you to notice something. The parent task, which now has zero dates here, no start, no end, because I'm not going to be able to see the details, I want it to show the beginning of all these tasks and the end of all these tasks. So if I look here, let me kind of zoom in for a second. Oops. Let's zoom in. We can see that the this one starts on the 11th. That's, oh no, the 8th is the earliest. And it looks like 322 is the latest. So it should be the 8th and 322. All right, so let's see what happens. So I'm going to highlight on the parent. I'm going to hit Project Plan and say Collapse Section. Watch what it does. Notice it hid the line, so it has these little arrows. I can unhide them later. But I want to show what it did. Notice we have 28 and 322. How did it do that? Well, first of all, it inserted a formula here. It said take the minimum of everything in 017 to 021, which were all the children tasks. And it also overwrote the end formula with max P17 to P21, right? Normally there's this big wonky formula and we overwrote it. So again, let me, uh, let's say I want to unhide this again and show that. And you can see that all those tasks are still there. So again, let me, uh, it, it's essentially the same thing as highlighting these and then right clicking and hiding the rows and then adding that formula here. But it does it automatically for you. The other thing it does is makes a Gantt bar representative for this line, which is all the subtasks, and has it in that dark green. So visually, you have a clue that it's a, um, a parent task of, of rolled up tasks or hidden tasks, if you will. All right, if I just unhide, but I don't remove that formula, what it's going to do is still show that Gantt bar, right, covering all the subtasks. All right. The one thing we want to be careful about is, I think I talked earlier about when you're enabling scripts, I showed you that there's a fix formula function. And that's when some of the formulas are broken. So let's say something was broken here. Um, and you did the, the fixed formulas. Um, let me actually do it. 
I want to show you what you got to be careful about. So when we did this, it fixes all the formulas except for the end column, and it stopped. And it asks you, resetting the end columns will overwrite the dates of parent tests of collapse tests. Are you sure you want to do this? And I hit yes before. I could hit no right now, and it won't overwrite that collapsed um, min and max function. However, it also won't fix the formulas if you have any broken formulas in the um, end column. So it's kind of a warning. It lets you know that you may have to manually fix a few things. I want to show you what happens if I did hit yes. What you're going to notice is that formula went away here in the end column. All right? And that's what it was explaining to you. Uh, again, you can go back to the script, um, how to enable scripts in the first video, and uh, you learn more about that and, and the fixed formula function. But just where, beware that fixed formula will override everything in the end column if you choose yes when that dialog box comes up. All right, well, thanks for watching this video, and tune in for some more functionality in future videos. Thanks for joining.